Stephanie Mullen, here to quickly show you how to use the lower thirds from the Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox in Adobe Premiere. Now before I start, let me say really quick that all Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox effects are ProRes and can be read by both Mac and PCs. If you are working on a PC, check out the description below for a link to download the free ProRes codec. The installation is simple and you will be up and running in no time. Alright, let's jump into Premiere. Now the first thing we want to do is import our, our effects into our Premiere timeline. So what we're going to do is we're coming over to the project window right here. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to import. And then when you have to find wherever your Filmmaker toolbox effects, where do they live, you find those and that's where you'll import them. So I'm going to click on my lower thirds. I'm going to say import. And there we go. So now all of our lower thirds have been imported. And with our lower thirds, we're really concerned about three things. We're concerned about one, how to cut our lower third to length to match our clip length. We want to know how to change the color. And then we want to know how to add your text, your title, and your transitions. And the, all these are very, very simple, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me first start with how to cut it to length. So let's go with clip number one. Let's just throw that on the timeline. And if I start that, you'll see there's an entrance. And I'll let it run. And then you're going to see the exit of the of the actual lower third. Okay, to cut these to length, say you only have a couple seconds, you only need it on here for a couple seconds. Well, that's easy to do. So all we need to do is find the spot where the lower third is in full animation, and right there looks good. And I'm just going to cut it here on the timeline, and then I need to find out where it exits. And we want to do it right before it exits, so I can say there, and then I can get rid of this middle part. Now you could bump these up together. And I'm going to turn snapping on. You could bump these up together and you'd have a very short uh, lower third, just like that. Or depending on how long you need them to be, you can always just take it from the end of your last clip and then butt them up together and then you'll see them work just the same. Okay, so that's number one. That's cutting your clip to length. Now let's look at changing the color. And we're going to go down here to clip number 25. And I'm going to let this run a little bit. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to let this one run. So there's your on and there's your off. Okay. Now to change this color because it's white and gray, we're going to use a tint. So all I need to do is click on my clip. I'm going to go back over here to my effects panel. I'm going to scroll down video effects. I'm going to go down to color correction and then scroll all the way down to tint. I'm going to drag that to my lower third I want to change the color to. And then I'm going to go up here to the effect controls and I'm going to change, here's the tint. I want to change the white and then I can change it to whatever I want. So let's try, how about a blue? Just like that, perfect. If we roll that through, you'll see now that the color has been changed. It's been tinted. So that's very simple. Now, what happens when you have a lower third that already has color in it? Well, it's very simple, it's very similar. So let's say we want to do this lower third right here and you'll see it already has color. Now you can actually use a tint on this and change the whole thing which would then keep basically it turns it to a grayscale which works the same thing. But say maybe I wanted to just change the back. Why don't you just change one color of this? That's really simple. So I go back over to my effects panel. I'm going to scroll up to change to color and I'm going to drag that to my lower third. And then I can go up here to my effect controls and I'm going to look at change to color right here. If it's not showing, you just scroll down and I, you can change it from and then you can put the two color. So I'm going to grab my eyedropper here and I want to grab this color in the back. I'm going to say change that color from that color to, let's do a yellow, a really bright yellow. I'm going to say okay. Now that's not very bright. Well the reason why is it's not, it's only changing the hue right now. So we want to change this whole thing. And there you go. Now you have that bright yellow behind there and you can do that. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Now, like I said, you can use any of these color correction uh, tools over here. Get crazy, get funky, do whatever you want to do with the color. All right, so that's step number two, changing the color. Now, step number three, let's put it all together and add, finally add our text, our title, and our transitions. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to actually use one of the social media lower thirds that we have in here, which I think are really, really cool. And here's one. And this is the Twitter, uh, the Twitter lower third. 
That's lovely. Now I want to move that up one layer because I want to actually put a background here. Let's actually build a real lower third. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to use one of the bokeh backgrounds from the toolbox. This is bokeh background number 15. So I'm going to drag that underneath here. And if we watch this, and I'm going to actually give it a little bit of breathing room from the beginning. So here we go. All right, so that's lovely. That's perfect. That's what we want. Now we just need to add our text. So let's go ahead and do that. So I, what I want to do is I want to make sure I want to keep this extended because I'm going to make a title. So I'm going to go back to my project window. I'm going to go down to new item, click on new item and go to title. And then this is going to be, I'm going to do a Twitter handle. So that's my Twitter handle, Final Cut Steph. I'm going to say OK. Now, if you don't see this, if you happen to actually not make this, the lower third, be visible, all you have to do is kind of scroll this over and then you can actually use the, the tool here on the timeline to show the animation. Okay. So back to our title window. Now let's go up here, grab the title tool and say at Final Cut Steph. And I don't like this font, so let's go and change the font to something a little more fun. Uh, I like this. Okay, we can also do the size. We can make it a little bigger and let's make it a little stretched out so it's not so squished. Take a look at what we have centered pretty well move up with our arrow keys move it over all right I like that perfect oh it's a little up far let's move it down a little all right how about that perfect now we can close this out and our, our now our title lives over here in our project window so let's grab it and drag it over here okay so right now let's play what we have all right so we don't have any transitions on our text and that's very simple to add so it actually matches our lower third Go back to your effects panel. We don't need the color. We don't need the video effects. We actually need video transitions. So let's twirl that down. And there are a ton of transitions here. You can use any of these. You can use the dissolves. You can use any of them. I'm going to actually go with the wipe. And I want to actually just click on it and drag it to the very front of my uh, title plate here. And let's watch what happens. OK, so we have it coming on, but it doesn't seem to be in time with our lower third. Well, that's no problem. All I need to do is just move this down a little. So when it comes on, there we go. So let's play it. And that's it. So, so simple. All I did was drag my lower third there to my timeline, then went into the title tool, made a cool little font title with my text, brought it into my, um, on my timeline, and then added a transition. So easy, so simple. It could not be any easier than that. I love these lower thirds. They're so great. And if you're interested in more Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox tutorials, check out the link below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll be happy to help. As always, thanks for watching. Bye!